Erin Bell from the Adelaide Thunderbirds has been good enough to join us on Super Sports Women TV. Erin, thanks for joining us. Well, Melbourne, it's not the best weather at the moment, but the Adelaide Thunderbirds are travelling very nicely, sitting on top of the ladder with only just the two losses for the season. Did you guys expect to be in this position at this point? Oh, I guess you don't really um, look at the ladder and think about things like that too early in the season, but we did want to just aim for as many wins as possible, obviously. Um, the loss last week was a little bit of a kick in the guts, I guess, uh, for our preparation, but at the same time it keeps us focused and we can't drop our heads now, we have to, we have to keep pushing and, you know, there's a few teams on equal points, um, so I guess this stage in the season it doesn't really matter where you're sitting as long as you're in that top four, so we'll definitely be trying to have zero losses from now on. As you said, it has been a tight competition so far. You've got the Vixens and the Mystics also on 12 points along with you guys. Is this the closest you've ever seen the competition? It is, but then it isn't because there's a few teams that um, are down the bottom quite significantly as well. But that's not reflected on court. Every single game is just as hard as the next. And, you know, that was shown on the weekend with Pulse, who were ranked ninth, beating us, who was apparently ranked first. Um, the games are just so, so close and you just can't underestimate anyone. So I guess, yeah, it will be very interesting heading into finals. And what areas of improvement do you want to see from the team over the next few weeks? Oh, I think a focus for us has been our high turnover rate and everyone's been talking about it. We try not to focus on it too much, but I guess in reality we do need to cut our turnovers down and increase our defensive pressure full court. We've been working really hard on that and if we can put a lot of pressure on the other team and make them the ones you know, to be turning over the ball, then we just have to work on converting, which is our attacker's responsibility. So we need to pick up our game and make sure that we are scoring goals. Now last week we saw an interesting tactic from the Mystics against the Vixens where the Mystics defenders actually lifted up each other and managed to deflect some of the Vixens shots at goal. What were your thoughts on that tactic? I think it's great. I think it gets people talking about netball and it just proves how, how, how far the game's come and how athletic the girls now are. Um, as a shooter, from my point of view, I think it can be beaten, but I'm very happy that I've seen it before I have to come up against it. So yeah, I think it's great for the sport and hopefully down the track maybe I can get lifted and do a slam dunk or something like that if that's what we're looking at. So, that could be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy it's happened because it's opened up a whole new world of netball, I think. So how do you beat it? Or you Can't give that, that away. Oh, okay. So you that's, keep it. Uh, yeah, going to pull that out in the finals. <laughs> Were you surprised that they used the tactic so early on in the season and didn't, you know, save that for finals? Oh, I, a little bit. I thought it would have been awesome for them to pull it out in finals and just completely surprise the opposition. Now we've all had a little bit of a look. But in saying that, it was that tactic that got them to win the game against the Vixens. I think Anna, Anna Harrison pulled two balls from the air yeah. in the last five minutes and that is what turned the game. So, you know, from a win point of view, it made them win the game. But yeah, now it's out there. So other teams can work against it and also try and do it themselves, I guess. Is the lift something you guys have tried at training in the past week? We haven't, we haven't, but uh, I know the defenders are pretty keen to, to try something, but I think it's, it takes a lot of practice. It's, it might look easy, but I really don't think it is. Adelaide has the bye this week in round nine. Is it a well needed rest for the girls? Any injuries? Yeah, it's definitely come at a good time. It's a good chance for us to recuperate, especially after such a long road trip to Wellington and also the loss. I think mentally and physically it's a good time for us to, to regather and we get a few days off training, which hasn't happened since the start of the year. So I think we just use that to our advantage and then we'll be all ready to go next week focusing on the Vixens. And on your weekend off, you find yourself in beautiful sunny Melbourne and you're actually going to be courtside for the Vixen Swifts game on Channel 10 this weekend. Yes, I'm a little bit nervous. It's my first time that I've done anything commentary related. So hopefully I can see the game as it is and not stuff up my words too much. But yeah, and I also get to have a little bit of a sneak peek of the Vixens going into our game next week. So hopefully that will be good too. Definitely. And um, are you looking at perhaps going into commentating as a future career path after netball finishes? Oh gosh, well, <laughs> let's see how this game goes. I could make a complete fool out of myself, so I don't know. I'm sure you'll be fine. A tip for the game, who's going to win that one? Oh, I kind of want the Swifts to win. So I think they can if they, um, if they play well. So I'll, but then Mel Melbourne is so hard to beat at home. You don't so. really want to face Melbourne the week after, do you, after they've lost? Ah, oh, doesn't matter. 
but yeah, I'm going to tip Swifts. Okay, go with the Swifts. Thanks for joining us on Super Sports Women TV. Good luck on the weekend commentating and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks.